Hi there, I am Elizabeth of The Sovereign Way. Welcome back. I'm here with Natalia Garcia, registered dietitian, licensed nutritionist and board certified integrative and functional nutrition practitioner. Hi, Natalia. Thank you for coming back. Thank you. We're heading into the holiday season and I want to know, how can I indulge in the holiday season without gaining 10 pounds? How can I stay healthy and still be a part of all the festivities? Oh, very doable. You know, a lot of people don't know that people tend to gain at least five to 10 pounds between Thanksgiving and New Year's. And why does that happen? Because people overeat and they overeat without knowing. So uh, my goal here is to bring a lot of awareness of how that happens and also what they can do so that that doesn't happen and so that they don't start always with the new root resolution is to drop the 20 pounds that I gained during the holidays. Right, right. <laughs> I read the word controlled feast in your notes uh, earlier today, Natalia. What's a controlled feast? All right. Well, it's enjoying um, the holidays in a way that you feel good, not just physically after you eat a Thanksgiving dinner, but also that you feel good in the head. Sometimes there's a lot mm -hmm. of guilt. There's a lot of like, oh, why did I make that choice? I might as well right. start on Monday. So it's that. And also just being aware that Sometimes a Thanksgiving dinner can be like two days worth of calories. And I'm not all about calories, but it's all about having the awareness of why you're eating certain foods in, in a certain amount. Right, right. So that we've just seen there that the average American eats 40, 4,500 calories in one Thanksgiving dinner. How can you eat Thanksgiving dinner without eating 4,500 calories? Well, it's by being aware. So I want to share some do's and don'ts, you know, uh, when it comes to being at a holiday party. So something that people do a bunch is that they drink their calories. There's alcohol everywhere. There's alcohol, not just starting at the dinner, but maybe a mimosa for breakfast or brunch. And then there's the lunch with maybe a couple of beers. And then there's the kind of like pregame or whilst people are making dinner, right? They have two or three glasses of wine. And then by the time they get to the um, holiday party, they're always having a drink. So I'd rather people eat their calories because they're going to get way more nutrition out of that. And also because they're going to feel satisfied. Mm. So that's a big one. And then the other one is that do really scan, you know, if you go to a party where there's a lot of food or Thanksgiving, right? Scan what's there before you start putting stuff on your plate so that you don't end up with an overfull plate and then with an overfull belly where you are to the point where you can't fall asleep and you have to stay awake three hours later because you just can't sleep. That has happened to me, actually. Uh, and to actually just choose the foods that you actually like and just put those on your plate. So those are some tips that I want people to consider and hopefully they will see some benefits. And there's actually one last one. Sometimes the host, right? If I invite you to my place and I invite and I made something amazing that I feel tastes amazing, right? I'll be like, Elizabeth, please have it. So for all of you out there, I invite you to really turn down some extra helpings without feeling guilty because your host may have put a lot of heart and a lot of effort in making that dish, but that dish may not be for you, especially if you know that the ingredients in that food bloat you or have you experiencing heartburn or sometimes you get acne the next day. Uh, so say just no, I'm all right and it's okay. You know, it's okay to say no and it's okay. I'm okay for now. So bottom line, choose your favorites. Um, practice eating mindfully. We're going to talk about that when we uh, bring a case study, but really savor every bite that you have. And also know that in between having alcoholic drinks, you can have a glass of water or two, because that way you will be part of the crowd that is drinking something. You're just not drinking alcohol. Mm. So those are the main takeaways for all of us to maintain our health, to not just have a amazing looking meat suit, but to look amazing and just feel amazing. To feel amazing. So to cherish your food, to eat slowly, really enjoy it. A controlled feast without guilt. You heard it here. Thank you so much, Natalia, for being here. Thank you.